Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. This is Ella. Oh my god, gnats. How do you get rid of gnats? Anyways, uh, this is No Catch Your Name, episode 7. Last time I said 7, but this time it is 7. Uh, disclaimer real quickly. My son is here. He's probably going to make a lot of noise. Uh, also, the air conditioning unit is right beside me, so it kicks on off and makes a lot of noise. But hopefully you can still hear me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, with that awkward introduction. I already said my name is Ella. Welcome back to all my sus subscribers. I always forget the B. I always say subscribers. Subscribers. <laughs> if you're new, um, click the red button below to join me and keep, you know, track of everything we're doing here and uh, feel free to leave comments down below and like and share. <laughs> I'm going to hop right into it because I don't really have a lot to share today. He's playing with a fly swatter. Um, I don't have a lot to share today. Because I haven't gotten a whole lot done. Well, I have done a lot. It's just it's like a lot on certain projects. Anyways, uh, I'll start with finished objects. This one I've already shown before. Uh, it's a Grinch wreath, but I've added a bow to it. I was talking about in one of my earlier videos about making a poly mesh bow, and I tried and couldn't figure out how to do it to make it look right. So I went ahead and just decided to make a crochet bow, and I found a pattern. The pattern is, it's just called a bow, <laughs> by Helen Free, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry. It'll be linked below. But it is this little bow right here. It's really bright in this room, so I don't know if it's washing the colors out or not. But It was a really simple bow to make, and I think it fits in there really well. And the heart's down here. The heart also wasn't part of the original pattern. It was, um, it was called Pop Heart by... My Garumi on Ravelry, and it, I'll link it below too. But now this is 100% done and ready for the fair and for Christmas. And I love this wreath. I can't wait to use it. I think it turned out really nice. But that's my first finished object. Hey! No, Mama needs that. No, Mama needs that too. Okay, here, you want this? Ooh. Yeah, that's nice, huh? Go play with that. <laughs> okay. The next finished object, are you taking your temperature? The next finished object, I showed it last week, I was almost done with it, but now I am 100% done with it. Let me make sure I got it right away. The T-Bird's rectangle. I hope it's all in there. I think you it. It was who I've been doing. I showed stuff. This should be, okay, you can play with that. Go play with it. <laughs> Anyways, that should be the second largest um, square. Well, that's what she said, but when I was looking at the layout of the squares, it looked like there's one that's thinner than that, but as long as that. So, I don't know. We'll see. The next, the last finished object. Are you spinning around in circles? Whee! <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... The next finished object, I just finished this this morning. I finished crocheting it last night. Yeah. <laughs> but I fit, weaved in all the ends this morning. I don't think this is the right side of this. But it's the comb. And it goes underneath the T-Birds one. And there's one above the Pink Ladies one, but I don't know what that's going to be. She hasn't really said Maybe some sunglasses or something. Uh, quit looking at that. You can't have that. <laughs> Anyways, those are part of the Grease Crochet Along that I'm participating in. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know this already. But if you're new, it's a paid-for crochet along hosted by Chaos and Chop Suey. I will link that below also. Are you playing with Mama's blankets? Uh, yeah, those are nice, huh? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. But, um, it's pretty fun so far. Oh, my God. I had bananas and they went bad and now there's gnats everywhere and I cannot get rid of them. I will never buy bananas again. Anyways, um, chaos and chop suey, I already said that. <laughs> I'm a little behind on that. I just finished week three which was the comb and there's two more already out and a new one comes out Monday. I have the bobbins prepared to start week four and I plan on starting it today maybe depending on if my son lets me. But um, that's all my finished objects this week, I think. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. Alright, so I'll just move on to whips. This one, this whip is almost a finished object. Like, I wanted to finish it today, but I haven't had a chance. <laughs> um, 
it is the it's gonna look funny because I gotta turn it all of a sudden away. It is the um, limited edition snappy bag by Snappy Tots. It's a pay for a pattern. It's only two dollars right now because um, there's a coupon code. Uh oh, be careful. Anyways, this black part down here isn't supposed to be down here. It's actually a pocket that I'll fold up and stitch on there. It's just the way I'm crocheting it, it makes it look like it's elongating the bag. But the bag, it's a pretty decent sized bag. It's supposed to fit two full skeins of yarn and it's made to hang off your wrist. I did make the um, handle a smidge longer <laughs> than uh, the pattern calls for. In the pattern she has two handles, one that's like that big and one that's like a shoulder strap. So, But I made it just a little bit longer just because that's you know, like I held it up on my arm. I thought that would be a good length. You are silly. Be careful. <laughs> Anyways, this is Red Heart, um, Red Heart Super Saver Black Lot. And I had, this was just a leftover ball of it I had. So I started with the bottom of the bag and just went until I ran out, which just happened to be at the, where the handle starts. And I do have more skeins of this, but I didn't want to rip into a new skein just to make a handle. So I found a coordinating color, and it goes with the blue in the bag. And this was just scrap yarn, too. It's Red Heart. And then this down at the bottom is Red Heart with Love, because I don't have any Red Heart Super Saver Black, so I use Red Heart with Love Black. And I spin it in circles. You gotta see it. Um, this pocket, it's a funky shape right now, because I haven't had it like set the way it's supposed to. It goes up. I'm probably gonna make it. It's curled a little, but I'm gonna make it close to like where this is. So I still got a few more rounds of half double crochet, and then maybe a couple of single crochet to do. And then this will be done. Well, actually, there's pocket dividers. Yeah. You're silly and loud. Oh my gosh, you're loud. You can't have that yarn. Quit looking at it. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, but I'm probably going to finish this today. Maybe when he takes a nap, I'll finish it and start on the new square for the grease blanket. <laughs> Hold on, Bubby. Mama's filming. <laughs> My last work in progress <clears throat> is made with Mandala, Lime Brand Mandala Gnome. And it's going to be one of those circular vests that were real popular. You can't get in that chair, sweetheart. You fell off and bonk yourself. <laughs> Uh, look, you want mama's giant crochet hook? That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is called the Lotus Circle Vest, and it's by Regina West, I think is how you say her name. This is all I've gotten so far. This will be the part that is laying on your back when you're wearing it. I'm kind of afraid it's going to turn out huge because this seems really large. But I should be. After this pink row, maybe another couple of rows, It'll start doing like an open mesh, and that's the part that will ruffle around you, and then you sleeve your armholes, and then it'll like ruffle around the neck. I don't know if I'm explaining that well, but I think it's turned out pretty. I started it with yellow because I wanted one of the brighter colors on the back instead of like the green or blue. But this yellow's got a lot of like green specks in it, I guess from dyeing or whatever. I don't know, but it gives a character. It looks more homemade that way, which it is homemade, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, I'm really liking this pattern. It's working out pretty quick. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry, but if you go to her Ravelry page and scroll down a little bit, it'll have the link to her website where she's got it just written out and it's free written out. It's just a pay for PDF. And um, that's all my work in progress is in taking this, this plan. Um, I am hoping to start that other square today and hopefully finish that bag today. But I also wanted to show some things that I'm going to be working on really soon. A couple of them involve Halloween, and a couple of them are just things I want to make. So, like, one thing that I want to make, I started watching this girl on YouTube. She makes podcasts. It's messing with the door. You don't need out here. It's too hot to go outside. It's too hot for it outside. Get your water and drink some water. Anyways, um, her name is Cameron. I'm not sure how to say her last name. She's from the Netherlands, so it's probably pronounced better than I can. But um, this is her, and she's in this picture. She's wearing what I want to make. I don't have this showing up, but it's called the Rabbit Hole Cardigan, and she wears it in a lot of her videos. And it's basically a giant granny square. 
that you like pin together to make armholes. And it's just really pretty and she wears it well and she's got a really sweet personality. She's real fun to watch and she's got a really cute accent. But it's a free pattern that she has on her blog. Her blog is in her language. I think Dutch is what people in the Netherlands speak. I don't know. But she's also got it in English. She's got like Dutch and in English. So I really want to make that. The next thing I want to make is a little pillow that looks like a s'more. Um, s'mores are significant to me and my husband and his family because in the summertime and springtime and fall time, just about every weekend, we're in his dad's backyard roasting hot dogs and s'mores over a fire pit and we watch movies and stuff so it's just significant. I made a s'more Christmas ornament which I'll probably show you around Christmas time uh, to, to remember that with and then I also thought I'd make this because that would just be cute to have sitting around. It's free pattern by Donna Beavers. <laughs> Sorry, that's just funny. I'm a horrible person but it's free pattern, it's cute but the only problem is it looks like it's got big giant um, safety eyes and I don't have any Excuse me. I don't have any giant ones, so I'll probably just make crochet circles. <sighs> oh, quiet down there. Alright, the two things related to Halloween is for our Halloween costumes this year. I was trying to find something that we could do as a family, but wouldn't cost a ton of money. You know, we're new, you know, newly starting off our lives together. We don't have a ton of money to spend on frivolous things like Halloween costumes. But I also don't have enough time to make 100% costumes or to get a bunch of yarn to make it with. So I was just looking up family, easy family, <laughs> easy family Halloween costume ideas. And I wanted to do like a Peter Pan thing, but... No, 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 no. But it seemed like a lot of work. So I just went with Little Red Riding Hood the big bad wolf and the woodsman. My husband would dress up as the wolf, which we're just going to get him a wolf mask when they start selling my Halloween. I'm going to be a little red. <laughs> I'm just going to carry like a basket for the candy and uh, wear a red cape that I plan on getting. And then my son's going to dress up as the woodsman. as the woodsman would be a plaid shirt and then I thought about making him one of these hats. Ha! Huh. That's got a beard on it. I know he wouldn't wear that the whole time but at least for pictures that would be really cute. But making the beard darker. Be careful. Oh, come here. Come here. You can't bonk your head. Here you want one of my this? Look. You can play that for a minute. The next thing for his costume would be an axe, because he's a woodsman, or an axeman. And I found this one free on Ravelry. It's an axe and a saw, but I would just make the saw, or the axe. It's really simple. I already, and now the band's starting to play. We live right outside of high school, and I can hear the band over there. <laughs> anyway, this is probably going to be a real annoying one. I need to put like a disclaimer at the beginning of it. But I wanted to make him the little axe and put something in it to make it stiff, but not so stiff that he bonks us with it. A little noise in this vlog. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will put a warning at the beginning, I think. I think I already did. I don't remember. I'm frazzled. I'm a mom. He's being awful quiet. <laughs> Alright, the next, the last part of this is just acquisitions, which I only have one, and it's just a cheap one. Walmart started carrying their own brand of yarn. He's messing with the curtains. I can see him through the window into the other window messing with the curtains. <laughs> Anyways. They came out with their own brand of yarn that's really similar to Red Heart, with, or just Red Heart. It's called Mainstays Basic Yarn. It's cheap. It's only $1.97 a skein, and they're the same size as Red Heart. I'm pretty sure they're 7 ounces. Yeah. This is just red, and I just, I got a ball of it to try, because it feels, it feels better than some Red Hearts, because, you know, some Red Hearts are really rough. Some are soft, but some are really rough. But this feels really soft, and it'll probably get softer if you wash it. He's going to break the curtain. <laughs> but I wanted to try it, and I needed a red for my grease um, afghan for the next square that I'm going to be working on. And I didn't have any other right color red. I have tons of red heart red that is really dark, like, um, I think it's called cherry red. And it's like a really dark, deep red. But I needed a brighter one. So I got this, and it's, I feel similar enough and the same size 
that I think it will work together with Red Heart well. And if not, you know, all I gotta do is remake that square, just buy some Red Heart. But it was only two dollars. Like I bought that one skein, and it was one ninety seven with tax. It was like two sixteen, I think, which is good price, you know, when you just need something cheap to make something little with. And this would also be good, I think, for like amigurumi projects or anything little like that, appliques or something. Something that you don't have to worry that the quality of the yarn is not the best because it's more for looks than it is for wearing. But anyways, I'm going to try it out and let you know what I think because the next square that I'm starting on will be with that and Red Heart together. I don't know if you can hear the band outside. Let me see if, I'm going to try to move you and see if we can see it. Oh, I don't know if we can see them. Oh, I think they're down there. Oh, my window's dirty. You see the band down there? They're walking. They're marching. Tonight is the first football game of the season here. It's opening night at the high school. And I'm walking. I hope I'm not making you sick. Checking on my son. See, he's messing with the mind. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I see you Really? I do. You're going to break it. Mama's got to put him up. Let's see. There's the cord. There you go. All gone. All gone. Can you say bye to everybody? Say bye. <laughs> okay, I probably moved that way too quick. I'm sorry, you can't have it. Mama's kind of finished. This is kind of all over the place, but I'm going to watch it, and if it's horrible, we'll refilm it tomorrow or later when he's napping. Give it to Mama. You can't have that. You can choke on it. Give it. Jesse. Okay, I'm going to go before anything else crazy happens. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing and leave some comments. And I'm sorry that this was probably a really annoying video. But, you know, it's a little peek inside of my everyday life. <laughs> but um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. These dang gnats. Does anyone know how to kill gnats? Okay, bye. <laughs>